Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate an expression. Here we have x to the power of 3 minus 506 x minus 502 to the power of 7 for x equals to 1 plus SQRT root of 2021 over 2. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you follow the two accounts that we have on Twitter. The first one is for mathematics and the second one is specifically designed for physics. I'm going to add those links in the description of this video. For Instagram, make sure that you follow the account that we have here. Now let's talk about the solutions. To solve this problem, we are going to find a little bit better expression for x. To do this, let's try to remove what we have for SQRT root here. To be able to remove that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 and then subtract by 1. So 2x minus 1 is going to be SQRT root of 2021. And now I can take power of 2 of both sides to have 2x minus 1 to the power of 2 equals to 2021. Now I have 2x minus 1 to the power of 2 equals to 2021. Obviously, I'm going to simplify it a little bit to see what I'm going to get. If I do this, I'm going to have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 2021 or I can say 4x squared minus 4x minus 2020 equals to 0. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to have x squared minus x minus 505 equals to 0. You see there are some interesting things here. I have 505 and in the original problem I had 506 and 502. I'm going to try to simplify the original expression to use what I have here. To do this, let's forget about power of 7 that we have here. Let's focus on what we have for the base which is x cubed minus 506x minus 502. To be able to use 505, I'm going to split 506 into 505 and 1. I'm going to factor out x to have x squared minus 505, which is something that I'm happy with. So at the end, I have x times x squared minus 505 minus x minus 502. Now x squared minus 505 is basically x. Let's replace that. Then we will have x times x minus x minus 502. Or I can say I have x squared minus x 
minus 502. Remember, instead of 502, we had 505. So the new expression is going to be 3. The rest is going to be 0. Now we can take power of 7 of this and at the end we have 3 to the power of 7 as the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.